sitting over at the shop right now waiting to start one of my favorite types of days which is when we have uh, one of our DYC installers come and visit with us. So we have our Premium Plus installers that come in and they do a tour of the office. They get to meet the office staff. They get to meet the retail uh, staff and see the store. They go over to the warehouse and check out the warehouse facility and meet those guys. And then they come over to the shop and we get to spray a car together, which is really fun and it helps them get some more exposure and build their brand. But more importantly, it's one thing to know somebody on the internet and it's another thing to meet them in person. And that's why I really like to meet these guys because it takes the relationship to a whole new level. And at the end of the day, it's just fun. It's fun to spray a car with a new person. Here's the challenge, figuring out a color. Every one of the Premium Plus and Stars who visits in 2017 are all doing the same car, the S4. The question is, what color is he going to want to do? So we're going to start that process in a second. Chris from Dip One, who's been an installer with us for a very long time, should be here very soon. And then we get to start the process. So the color that we chose is Cobra Color Shift, which never gets any love because it's a white based pearl and it's really difficult to use. And we are, uh, what are we doing? Black gallon and a clear matte gallon of Proline mixed together 50-50 and with a 100 gram pearl load because the white base pearls are super difficult to use because if you don't get the proper pearl um, distribution, you put too much on there, it starts to go from a very vibrant color into whiting out and you lose all your color saturation. But if you mix them into a black gallon, the theory is that they are much easier to use. Is that accurate? That would be absolutely correct. So we're gonna double check that theory today and we're gonna be doing, as we said, on the S4, which has been through more testing and more horrible things than anyone can possibly imagine over the past seven years, but it's still holding strong. Just got done with a meeting with the developers on the new Dip Your Car homepage, which I am very excited about. It just changes the entire feel of of the site. It's like going from this very dark site, which I'm, I've never been too big of a fan of, to a much lighter, much brighter, much more open website with different navigation and some different features and stuff like that. Um, still have quite a few edits to make, but I am super pumped about this. I bet you we should have this out within a month or so.
I'll tell you what, for those of you guys that enjoy doing cardio, I definitely respect you for it. I don't know if I'll ever get to the point where I really enjoy doing cardio. Now, I enjoy getting better at it, if that helps. I mean, six months ago, I could get to a certain point, and then that point would just put me almost flat on my back, and today I can get to that point a heck of a lot easier. So I like the progression of it, but the physical act of doing cardio, I don't know, something about it just doesn't get me too excited, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, filming yourself in the gym. I've been doing this for about a week and a half now on the vlog, and I still don't think I'm 100% comfortable with it yet. There's just something about filming yourself in the gym that makes you feel self-conscious. Other people are watching you film your workout partner or film yourself, and it just has a little bit of a douchebag vibe to it, but you have to put things on a scale. On one side is what people may think of you, people who you don't know and really don't care about their opinion, and on the other side is the value. The value on this is twofold. One, we're helping people as far as showing them the workouts and getting them inspired to continue their fitness journey. And the other side is I'm learning a lot and I think Adam's learning a lot. When you watch yourself do an exercise, nothing can really beat that because you're going to find things in your form that you didn't know you were doing. You're gonna find yourself cheating a little bit. You're gonna find yourself getting out of place a little bit. I can tell you one thing, I've learned and critiqued myself quite a bit over this past week and a half. So for me, the scale, I mean, what people think versus what I wanna do, uh, sometimes you just gotta be like, what people think. Does it really matter at the end of the day? I don't think so.